This is Akin Jack Jackie the Truth. I'm delighted to be joined by promoter Dimitri Shah. So, how are you doing, sir? I'm doing great. Dimitri, I, I suppose there's one question that's on my mind, it's on everyone's sure. mind after that presser. I know, right? <laughs> yes. Um, what, what, what was that? What you know, was, what was funny because when I was sitting there, I didn't hear him say it. And then I got text people saying, I'm so sorry. People from his team were texting me, Dimitri, I'm so sorry. I'm like, sorry about what? And then I looked at, you know, I looked at the press and stuff like that. It's absolutely 100% not true. And I'm uh, shocked and, uh, uh, and hurt. Um, there's nothing to do at this point because Jarrell was a couple of fights, a couple of days before his fight, a day before his fight today. So there's nothing to really talk about. He has to focus on doing what he needs to do and winning. Uh, I do want to say that Jarrell has very good lawyers and a, and a very smart team of people. So if, if I was late or didn't fulfill my obligations in any way, the whole world would know about it. But uh, I abide by my contract and go over and beyond it and I'm very grateful that I was able to get this opportunity for Jarrell to redeem himself on this big show for a career high payday against a good but a very winnable fight for him. I started working with Jarrell since his second professional fight, I used to host him in my training camps when I used to fight uh, and really invested a lot of time and belief in him. So to hear him say it and Jarrell is a very charming charismatic guy and very funny so like when he says this stuff people are like it really hurts because, because uh, people hear it and this is such a big stage yeah. and such a big moment where yeah. it's a moment of celebration of what the work that he did yeah. but uh, you get the opposite so. so so this is not uncommon for him it's not the first time he's leveled these accusations at you my, my question to you is why why do you continue to always fight put up by, with it? By the way, it always happens five weeks. Yeah, I mean, and it, it, it's funny because I heard you say in an interview um, that it happens five weeks and then after five weeks he will come and hug you and apologize. Yeah. Is that enough? I mean, my, my, the reason I'm asking is that enough is that why do you persist with um, someone essentially slandering your reputation? Because this could have um, consequences on you long term um, in terms of future promotions. If, people believe a stigma about you that you don't pay your fighters on time etc etc why, why do you persist with that how come you just you well just... when you say persist with it we have a contract the contract is a promise between two parties Jarrell made a promise to me i made a promise to Jarrell. i lived up to my promise i lived up to my i've feel that i've done a great job getting Jarrell to the joshua fight unfortunately it didn't work out then we did a deal with espn and top rank unfortunately that didn't work out and Joel was suspended for a couple of years, and now we brought him back to this opportunity, which is absolutely phenomenal. And if you look, um, if you listen to different people's interviews, from broadcasters to promoters like Eddie Hearn, who never worked with Jarrell, he's a drug cheat, he's this, he's that, and the narrative has changed now. People are saying, well, maybe you know, if he keeps winning, if he if if, if he keeps testing clean, so you know. To to to, uh, to um, resurrect Jarrell's career and his reputation to this point, I feel is fantastic. And and as a promoter, I feel that I did my job getting to this point. So as far as why do you work with him? We have a country and an obligation. I think Jarrell is one of the best. E in the even world. if it's detrimental to you long, long term, I appreciate that you have a contract. But if if, if every time he has an opportunity, he well, says, let me tell you. So let me so, so um, there has to be accountability for your actions. Sure. So, there have, there have been significant dedication for myself and for my team and for my company to build Jarrell's career, sure. to get him role rated, to get him fights, to pay for his fights to get to this point. This time he's paying me, but to get him to this point we have to pay for his fights so that he can progress and get ranked and, and, and uh, work off his ring rust. So, there has to be accountability. Yeah. The time to talk about the accountability from a legal perspective is not today, right. because Jarrell is fighting t tomorrow. Okay. But there has to be accountability because the narrative that uh, certainly in these days, when there are so many laws and obligations, that the promoter in some way has more power over the fighter than the fight. That's absolutely not true. Yeah. That's 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 maybe 40 years ago, 50 years ago, when there was only Bob Barham and Don King, yeah. and like so that narrative kind of lived. But today it's different. Yes. Everybody has a lawyer, people have a manager, an advisor. I mean, so, so 
um, so it's up to the boxing fans, in a way, to judge to judge based on the job and the work that I did for him. So, so what, what I'm hearing you saying is that there's been a significant investment from your end, um, and now that it comes round to it, you can see that people's hearts and minds are changing towards Miller. Even you can even see in terms of how he's sort of carried this press conference, etc. And yeah, the narrative has changed. Are you saying that it's time now to? reap the investment that you saw on the back end if you see that there's a potential for people to see him no, well, listen, and, that, and, and, since, that, and then all things are acceptable you can say whatever he wants on that no on that. things are not acceptable but since Jarrell was 1-0 2-0 5-0 7-0 I said Jarrell is one of the best American heavyweights has the potential to be heavyweight champion is the future of the division and I lived up to that promise and I've done everything from my end as a promoter sure. to, to to do what I need to do to get yes. to this point so I I would expect some gratitude and you know and a, and a hug and say we should thank you for helping me make career multiples of a career high payday and a fight that's very winnable a good fight but a very winnable fight and you know it's, we're co promoters you saw that Frank Warren said uh, we're co promoters yep. so every uh, every dollar that comes in Jarrell knows about yeah and it's split up according to our contract it's not like it's not like uh, there's any secrets to the financial or financial flights, tickets, hotel rooms, meals, everything he knows about it. He's a partner in it. Yeah. So when he says this, uh, it just it's first of all it's not true, and yeah. then it, you know, and 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 there's and 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 uh, you know, it obviously paints uh, a certain picture there with that, that that's that's not realistic. Okay, I'll ask you this, and this will be the final question. Um, with Saudi involved, I know you have two um, fights left with him. This being his penultimate, and he has one more, according to Jarrell. I don't want to talk about okay. the contract. Um, with Saudi promoter, being involved... I'm his promoter at this point. So, yes. Let me ask you this. When, it, when his contract is up, if there is an opportunity to renegotiate, given that there's interest in him now, is that open to you? Would you work with him again in the future, or are you at a point where... Um, it as, is of, what it as, is. Of, as of now, I'm focused on uh, on tomorrow night with sure. Jarrell and on that, and uh, you know, and answering these interviews because every reporter has asked me about this. Yeah. And fight week, this is happening. It's like yeah, it's a bit uh, distracting. You know, uh, so we'll cross that bridge when we get there. He has a tough fight. Has, has a tough fight ahead of him. I was just at the rules meeting. The two teams, Jerry Big Loves, went through the through the motions of, of a fight. Yeah. So it's really happening. We've never, as a, as a team, we've never gotten so close to a big fight. Yeah. Uh, and to get Jarrell tested and uh, licensed with the BBFC, again, they didn't want to license him just a couple of months ago. And uh, and to get Anthony Joshua saying, okay, you know what, maybe I'll fight him at some point. Uh, and again, to change the narrative of, of uh, has been a lot of hard work, and uh, most important is for Jarrell to perform in the ring, yeah. uh, to redeem himself truly and fully. But the proof of the pudding is in the pudding, and I feel that I've done my job. Absolutely. And uh, people can say whatever they want to say, but you know, but but uh, uh, but Jarrell is going to cash a big check on Saturday night, <laughs> well, regardless of what happens. Absolutely. So that's the truth. Well, Dimitri, I appreciate you um, being as candid as you can be. Um, what I did find interesting is you saying that AJ might fight him again because all I've heard is well, Eddie's saying. I mean, look, 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 look at what Eddie's saying. Yeah. Eddie's saying six, seven months ago, never, never fight, never fight Jarrell again. I like him, but I don't like him. Or he really try to hurt AJ and all the stuff. And now he's saying something different. Yeah. Um, and that's just, I'm not saying anything, but. I, I, I take some credit for the work that we did Absolutely. to get him to this point and to, and to to get him tested and to make it public yeah. and uh, and to get Jarrell has a great personality yeah. he's great checks all the boxes for yeah. being the star in the division yeah. this is you know the fact that he's so uh, and as you said before it just like comes in stages yeah. the fact that he's so consistent with uh with these disses, man. Yeah. <laughs> Ain't cool, you know what I mean? Absolutely. And, and, and Jarrell, no, the hood don't raise me, baby. I'm from Brooklyn, New York, just like him. Yeah. So <laughs> we grew up together, you know what I'm saying? So I, I, okay. I, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know what that is, but it's all good, you know? Dimitri, I appreciate you talking to Firehack. Is there anything else you'd like, you'd like to add? 
Uh, now I'm very excited about tomorrow's fight night. It's a great uh, uh, honor to be part of the show. And so far it's been a fantastic stay. And I look forward to, uh, to a great night of boxing as a boxing fan. I always say as a boxing fan, I'm very excited about it. Excellent. And look forward to all the fights. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dimitri.